My name is Nicole Mann, and I'm an astronaut living and working aboard the International Space Station. Did you know that our bodies are made up of 60 to 75% water in weight? And water covers roughly 71% of Earth's surface. Have you ever wondered what it is about water that makes it so important for life? Well, in today's episode, we're going to dive into the unique properties of water and discuss why water really is the stuff of life. Are you ready? Let's get started. You know, water is referred to as H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. It's what we call a polar molecule. Polar bonds happen when there's a difference in electronegativity between the atoms involved in the bond. In this case, the oxygen atom is very electronegative, whereas the two hydrogen atoms having fewer electrons in the relationship take on a positive charge. This structure explains why water has very unique properties. Pure water at room temperature is odorless, tasteless, and somewhat colorless. It is the only substance that exists as a solid, liquid, and gas under ordinary conditions back on Earth. Unlike most materials, the solid form of water, ice, is less dense than its liquid form. On Earth's surface, in the presence of Earth's full gravitational pull, ice floats on water. Because of its molecular shape, water is often referred to as a universal solvent, meaning it's able to dissolve more substances than any other liquid. Our bodies need water in order to carry out many functions essential to life. Our kidneys, for example, filter minerals and waste materials from our body. Water, being such a great solvent, is able to dissolve many of these substances and assist the kidneys to flush them out. Up here in microgravity, we don't have salt and pepper shakers like you do back on Earth. Because of the weightless environment, using salt and pepper shakers isn't feasible. Particles of salt and pepper would not adhere to food in microgravity, and instead would float away, clogging the air vents, contaminating our equipment, and getting in our eyes and nose. Instead, we utilize water solvent property to create a liquid form of salt. Salt is easily dissolved in water, and pepper is suspended in oil to make liquid forms of salt and pepper that we can use to elevate the flavor of our food. I'm going to demonstrate water's properties of adhesion and cohesion using a wash glass soaked in water. What do you think will happen when I attempt to wring out the water in this wash glass up here in microgravity? Let's find out. This is just ordinary water that's going onto a washcloth. And now you can see the washcloth is soaked full of water. Notice how in space, the water doesn't leave the towel when I attempt to wring it out. Instead, our microgravity environment combined with water's properties of adhesion and cohesion come into play. So cohesion is the property of water where the molecules are attracted to each other thus sticking together. Now the water molecules are also attracted to the towel and to my hand. This is called adhesion. And this is because of the electrostatic bonds formed between the water molecule and other surfaces. A water molecule having both positive and negative poles means that it can attract or stick to many different materials, no matter their charge. A plant is able to move water and its dissolved nutrients from the roots up to the rest of the plant via capillary action, which utilizes water properties of adhesion and cohesion. Each water molecule is attracted to the other water molecule and to the tissue within the plant. This is the Veggie 05 experiment, currently being conducted on board the International Space Station. Today, we are growing dwarf tomatoes. They live in this special habitat which controls their lighting and their living conditions. Astronauts use these tubes to inject water into a pillow at the base of the plant. This provides water for the plant to live and grow. Think about all the different things in your house that contain water, from laundry detergent to ice in your drink, and even the waters and the fruits and veggies that you may be eating for dinner tonight. Water is a necessary part of our lives, whether you're residing on Earth's surface 
or orbiting 250 miles above. Thanks for exploring the properties of water with me today. See you again soon.